In today's episode, I'm going to show you this 3D printed tool I made to align the switch perfectly on my electronic bed leveler. Once it's soldered together using that tool, you have a perfectly aligned switch. I'll explain it all on today's Film It Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. My electronic leveling tool is far more popular than I thought it would be, and the most popular is the kit form. So getting the switch mounted properly on the bottom is very important. I like making a Tinkercad version of any of my electronic boards. It's just fun and relaxing to me. It's probably not the most accurate, but it works. And I made this end cap for it to make it a little more balanced. It's got little prongs plus the switch makes it a three point balance. Makes it easier to use. But the switch is very important. I have the switch here and the battery holder. The switch is so important to get centered to the board and lined up at the white X that's on the other side of the board. So I created this piece right here that slides over the switch and onto the board. And what this does is hold the switch down and then you can slide this back and forth a little bit to make sure you're centered to the X. The switch needs to be flat on the board and you can see I got a cutout here in this element that holds the switch in place and also pushes down on the button. So just slight pressure holds it in place. They're both really simple prints to make. I printed these on my Ender 3 V2. They came out great. Let me show you how this thing works and I'll assemble one of the electronic bed leveling tools just so you can see how easy this thing is to build. So the first step is to slide that tool over the switch area and then I line up the arrow so it's right in line with the white X. Now I take the switch and I drop it in the hole. I have to push it in a little bit and then once it's in place, you can see that the leads line right up with the solder pads. So now I can solder this in place. The switch may bump a little bit, but while it's hot, just push it back in place. And then you can solder the other side. And once that's soldered, we should let it cool. And then we can pull off this tool and make sure that it's centered. So let it cool. Now I'll pull off the tool. And there you have it, a perfectly centered switch. If I look on the other side, you can see it's lined right up with that white line. I marked a positive on one side of the board, and that should line up with the flat side of the battery holder. That's the positive side. And I left this so it could float, so you can position it how you want. It's real easy, just solder one side, and then once that's cool, flip it over and solder the other side. The battery's in place. The resistor, you just bend with your finger, and that should line right up with the holes. Push it in, hold it in place, and then bend the leads over so it'll hold itself while you solder it. The last part is the LED. The long lead goes into the square pad and then the other lead into the round pad and then bend those over. Now we can solder it. Just solder each connection. Should be pretty quick. And this thing is just about done. So now we just need to clip the leads. Just the side cutters clip them things right off. If there's any extra on the switch, you can clip those off as well. And now we can test it. I'll put a 2032 battery in the slot and press the button to see if the LED lights. Yes, everything's perfect. So now I can put on the end cap that I showed was the other 3D print. It should fit snug. Goes on and you just push it until it snaps all the way on. The next step is to download the G-code files that I created to make this tool more useful. You go to my electronic bed leveling tool at chepclub.com and you'll see all the files. There's the two 3D print files you can download for free. And there's also a G-code file that positions the nozzle over the adjusters and handles the Z-offset for you. There's also the square test G-code file for finally testing your bed level. I click print to run the bed level G-code, then slide the tool under the nozzle and then slightly adjust. Now I did clean the nozzle before this to get rid of any gunk. Then I did the rear Got that to just come on, the other side, got that adjusted, and the front corner was the final one. Now just to check, I slid it under the center and it felt pretty good, so I'm happy with it. The next step is to run the test print, which puts squares all around the bed, just a series of squares working its way to the center to the final square. And here's proof that this thing worked really well. I have a nice even bed level across the whole bed. 
Actually, this is what I love about 3D printing the most, that you can actually design little tools that help you build your electronics. Maybe you build a drill guide to help you drill in wood, or just clamps or little guides to help you build things in your shop. That's what I love most about 3D printing. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. And if nothing else, click on that CHEP logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.